Okay. I guess I'll try this going live thing again. I'm so much more comfortable doing my written journals. That's been my way for so long, and I know about this flow when I write. Not so much when I just look at the camera, but someone just subscribed to me, and I love to visit your sites when you do that, and if you have uploaded something to hear what you say and to tune into your hearts. And it was so beautiful. He just turned his webcam on and just spoke from his heart. And he wasn't all in the ego and worried about how he was coming across or anything. It was just a beautiful sharing of heart. And if he can do that, well, gosh, I ought to be able to, too. It means so much. We're strengthening one another when we come out this way because people are getting to see we're just regular Joes and Janes. We're not gurus. We're not anything special. We're just you, you know, and it strengthens us. We are definitely more in our union than we're not. Now, I shared something with a friend uh, the other day, and she suggested I share it with you. So here goes. I had to make a 100-mile trip recently to uh, get a medical procedure done. And I live out in the, in the woods, in the forest. And my state, Arkansas, is largely rural and beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. But anyway, it can be hard um, using the roads if you're sensitive because there are animals there that got hit and didn't make it. And I always used to look away. I just didn't want to see. I didn't want to feel that. I didn't want to think about it. But um, that was before, and this is now. And so I shared with my friend what happened when I took a new perspective on that. And I saw the little creature laying there by the side of the road. And it was probably already gone, but my heart was moved to reach out, not only to that one, but to all of the animals anywhere who had gotten hit or who were dying for whatever reason, wherever they were, in the jungle, in the forest, in the woods, in the city, by the roadside, whatever, that were dying alone. And you know how they just patiently lay there um, and cross over. And so I reached out and I embraced them. Not to fix anything, not to do anything, but just to share love, just to be loved, just to be there with them and give them the sense of how they are loved and respected and appreciated, uh, not to be sorrowful or anything like that. And it was really interesting as my heart expanded and the meditation expanded to encompass the whole earth, and it did, and I felt the beings of these animals crossing over and all of a sudden I realized, oh my God, this isn't death, this is new birth. They're just changing form. They're crossing over. And I realized it was a real celebration. It was beautiful to just share love and to just be with them and support them in their crossing. And uh, it was beautiful. And maybe it'll help your meditation when you see a little creature by the side of the road instead of getting into the sorrowful thing or the angry thing or the people should drive more safely or slower, whatever, whatever the mind has to say on it. Maybe if you'll just drop down in heart and go with what flows, we'll have a different experience of that. Thank you so much. 
Have a blessed day, a blessed life, a blessed now.